Good morning everyone, Low Wolf Rick here. It is Friday morning, 11 a.m. here in Las Vegas. Hope everybody has has having a great day today as we head towards another weekend here, Super Bowl weekend. We take a look here at the Interstate 15, all the traffic uh, entering and leaving the uh, tourist corridor here in Las Vegas. How about it? pedestrian overpass here it's like off of I-15 at uh, Tropicana and we're taking a look here at the uh, traffic on the interstate the properties back behind there we see Mandalay Bay and see the peak of Luxor sticking up there we'll get uh, Excalibur on the, on the end there a great day today. It's about 68 degrees right down here in Las Vegas. Looking at a high of 74 today. So it's going to be another great day here in Vegas. Uh, go ahead and into a weekend where the weather's going to be really nice. It's supposed to be around 70 degrees both Saturday and Sunday here in Vegas. So it's going to be a fantastic weekend for the Super Bowl. Hopefully uh, the weather's nice wherever you're at. Have some friends over, do a little barbecue. Just sit back and enjoy the game. In today's uh, vlog, it's like we're going to take a look at the room rates here uh, for Super Bowl weekend. I'm going to take a look at Saturday's rates and uh, here in Las Vegas, as uh, this is going to be a pretty busy weekend. Super Bowl weekend is one of the busiest weekends, uh, non-holiday weekends in Las Vegas, and uh, a lot of people come in. Tons of money bet. They're predicting that this could be a uh, a, a Maybe not a record Super Bowl, but uh, they're expecting some buku cash. It's like to change hands here. So let's get started. Let's take a look at these room rates. We're going to take a look at the strip first, then we'll take a look at the uh, properties off of Fremont Street. Uh, keep in mind, these rates do not include uh, the approximate $45 resort fee, and they do not include the 13.5% hotel tax. All right, here we go. Uh, the most expensive room on the Strip is the Four Seasons, uh, which is part of the Mandalay Bay complex there. It's $595 for a single room for a Saturday night. The M, which is on the south end of Las Vegas Boulevard, is $580. The Waldorf Astoria is $559. The Aria Hotel, $559. The Bellagio, is $559. The Nomad is $535. That's part of uh, Park MGM over there, which is on the other side right there. The Wynn Hotel is $509 for tomorrow night. The Encore Hotel is $509 for tomorrow night. The Cromwell is $499 for tomorrow night. The Park MGM is $489 for tomorrow night. The Nobu Hotel is $449 for tomorrow night. And that's part of the uh, Circus Circus. I mean, I'm sorry, it's part of Caesar's Palace. The Nobu Hotel is part of Caesar's Palace. Uh, Caesar's Hotel is $359. New York, New York, which is right there, $349. Bally's Hotel, $339. The MGM Grand, $329. The Mirage Hotel, $329. The Conrad, part of Resorts World, is $327. The Virgin Hotel, which is on Paradise Road, is $323. The Link Hotel is $309. The Westgate Hotel, $300. The Flamingo Hotel, $299. Mandalay Bay, right there, $299. We see that uh, helicopter uh, surveying the traffic there on I-15. The Weston Hotel on Flamingo Road is $299. The Las Vegas Hilton, part of Resorts World, is $295. The Luxor Hotel is $289. Treasure Island, $280. The Tropicana, $279. The South Point Hotel, $279. The 
The Sahara Hotel is $269. The Excalibur is $279, and right there. The Paris Hotel is $245. The Strat, $242. And Circus Circus is $233 for tomorrow night. You can tell it's like the rates are a lot higher than they've been the last, what, two, three uh, uh, weekends. They, uh, as we're looking at uh, a busy weekend coming up here in Las Vegas, uh, a lot of these rates, especially like Harris, Circus, where they were, where they were around there, what were they, the $60, $50 rates, uh, you know, last weekend, the weekend before. So uh, you can tell it's like at... Uh, the higher the rates are, the more people are in town. So, so it's going to be a good weekend for the casinos. Let's take a look at Fremont Street. Uh, the Fremont Street Experience, the hotels around there. The D is actually the most expensive property in Las Vegas for tomorrow day. It's $663 for a room at the D. The Circa Hotel is $359. You mean the Circa Hotel is the one it's like they're charging to, to watch the game at their, uh, the big screens by the pool, the, the sports book, is they're charging 125 bucks also just for attendance to go there. Uh, but the certain hotel is 359 bucks. The Golden Nugget, $349. The California Hotel is $261. The Downtown Grand is $239. The Fremont Hotel is $224. Main Street Station, $209, and El Cortez is $203 for uh, a room tomorrow night. El Cortez is actually the least expensive room it's uh, in Las Vegas as far as the casinos, hotels, casinos uh, for tomorrow. So there you have it. That's the room rates uh, for the, the night before Super Bowl, uh, Saturday night. If you're looking to make a maybe an impromptu trip, I got all these rates from Hotels.com. Uh, be sure to check. It's like to see if any of the rates have gone up or gone down. Actually, it's like uh, you know before making your trip to uh, ensure you get the best rates. So we're taking a look around here. It's like you know all the traffic coming in and out of town. As you can see, it's like the traffic coming in northbound. It's like pretty heavy right now. Like I said, I started this video at 11 o'clock, so. Uh, a lot of people coming in to check in. A lot of these people are local too. It's like, uh, you know, I-15, this stretch is very busy anyway. So uh, it'll be interesting to see, especially like tomorrow, what the traffic looks like along this corridor here. See another helicopter there flying around it, around Vegas. Showing some people some sights. This way, it's like a hotel right there. It's the Town Place Suites by Marriott. And then right next to it is a uh, Home Two Suites by Hilton. It's right next to that property. So, all right. So, what else is going on here? We get uh, over here at the T-Mobile Arena. We've got George Strait in concert tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, if, you're, if you haven't got tickets yet, uh, be, be sure to see if, it, if tickets are still available. His concerts usually sell out, uh, so uh, you may be able to get tickets on the secondary market through Ticketmaster. We'll take a look back over there. It's like at the Strip Properties. We see uh, the Cosmopolitan and, and the Aria, the Nomad, and the Waldorf Astoria all the way up to the Park MGM at New York, New York right there. All right, everybody, I think it's gonna do it for this video. Uh, if you're coming to Las Vegas, it's like, uh, uh, please make your room reservations uh, as quick as you can to get the best rates, okay? And I uh, thank you very much for joining me. It's like I'm gonna roam around, head down to the Strip and roam around there and see if I can find some more videos uh, uh, to uh, show you what's going on here uh, for this Friday and all throughout the weekend. All right, everybody, thank you very much. Stay healthy, please. Stay safe. 
And uh, I'm not sure you saw one more thing. I'm sure you saw my video yesterday. There is no more mask mandate in Las Vegas or in Nevada. Uh, you do not have to wear a mask. Uh, if you if you still feel uncomfortable, you're always more than welcome to wear the mask. Uh, but there's just no mandate that everybody has to wear it anymore. All right, everybody, you take care. Okay, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.